Right, so we're going to add some new commands here. We're going to say turn, add a new option, on, off, add a new option here as well. So we're going to say all lights, bedroom lights, bedroom lights, kitchen lights, hallway lights, bathroom lights, bunkhouse lights, outdoor kitchen lights, door lights, storage lights, inside lights, and outside lights. Okay, then we have to go down over here and add in all of our strings. Remember, I'm using one for on and zero for off. And there's no quick and easy way to do this. I wish there was an import from Excel or something along those lines. Now, you want to make sure you copy exactly what's up there so that it's easier for you later. through okay so we've got those we want to go ahead and add another new sentence we're just going to say invert Okay, and for that one, we want to go ahead and type invert, and that's it. Okay, we add another new sentence. We're going to tell it to party. Okay, here we say party. We go ahead and save our profile. And we're just going to go ahead and jump in to the Arduino sketch. Okay. Hit the wrong button there. Okay, we want to set up some different arrays. Okay, so we want to go ahead and set up arrays of different zones. Okay, so of course this already has all of them, so that's our all array. We're not going to change anything here. So we want to set up our bedroom array. Oops. Right. And to save us some time, okay, we're going to go ahead and copy and paste some of this um, from our other sketch. I will have to pull out some of the other pins that I'm using. Okay, so you see we've got 
the living room pins. We'll take out all of these because we're not using those in the sketch. So that's only four here. We need to make sure that these match. We've got our kitchen pins. We're assigning another array. So we take out this one, change that to a three. We've got our hallway pins. We can take out number 10, change this to a two. Take out number 11, change that to a two. 12, 13, and 14, we can pull those off. Change that to a three. Pull off 15, that's a one. Okay, and change that to a one. You don't really need an array for this, but kind of give you an idea. Now we've got to pull out two. Seven, comma back in there, and these ones here. So what does that leave us with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. So we've got sixteen here, and the last one is our outside pins which we need to pull out 16 and 15. Okay, so now we only have four here. All right, so we're not gonna change anything here. Everything still remains the same in the void setup area. Uh, the void loop uh, remains the same. We really don't use it. Uh, your original INT data type doesn't change. Um, but we are going to change uh, this a little bit, okay? And again, I'm going to use a copy and paste because otherwise this will take forever, and I'll kind of show you what we're doing. Um, so I'm going to take this whole if statement here. I'm going to take everything out, and I'll write out the first line of what we're doing. So we had our awning and slides there originally, okay? Let me make sure we got the right thing here. Okay, so we're going to type in the same thing basically, but in a different order. For the first one, I'll go ahead and type it out. The rest of it, I'm going to go ahead and paste in. So basically, if our string equals like I am missing oops that's the wrong way that's why all right so again we're gonna loop through them okay just like we did up here um, where we use the for loop okay um, in the setup okay so we're gonna loop through the group so for int active pin equals zero. All right, we start out with zero active pin less than pin count active pin plus plus Okay, so within that loop, we're actually going to check the status of the light. Capitalization matters. So what we're doing here is we're checking the digital readout, the status of the pin, and if it's currently high, okay, if it's, excuse me, 
uh, I did that wrong. Okay, if it equals zero, which means that it's off, uh, high and low, uh, low is zero, high is one. So here's another if. And you see why you kind of want to avoid doing a bunch of ifs. It makes things a little bit ugly. So if digital output pins active pin equals zero, then we want to go ahead and do a digital write. small delay again doesn't need it I like it and that's that for that one okay so again we're checking the status we're looping through all the different pins for that zone okay if digital readout we're checking to see if it's on or off basically we're only going to try and turn on the ones that are not on okay so now we're going to go ahead and copy the rest of my sketch and we'll walk through that Bear with me here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and copy from here to here. All right. We just put on a whole bunch of extra stuff, as you can see. So you see, there's our all. So you've got your active pin, same thing, doing all the same stuff. Okay. Else if, you know, if it's all zero coming from BitVoicer, then we check the status, make sure they're on, and turn them off. And then on invert, we just reverse everything that's already there. Okay, you see there's a party um, on this one. What we're doing is we're looping through the pins. We're checking to see if they're on. So basically we shut off all the lights here. We assign an INT to the number for the while loop. So INT party equals zero. We run the while loop 500 times, while party 500, pick and assign a random pin. So again, int party pin equals random between 32 and 54. So that's the pins we're using. Write the inverse of what the pin is currently. So digital write party pin is not the current status of the party pin. And we delay 25, and then we increase the uh, party int. Okay, and then after that's all done, we go ahead and turn on all lights. And then you just basically copy everything from the all lights into your other ones. But notice that you've got active pin. Now this is bedroom pin count. Okay, and you've got bedroom pins here instead of output pins. Okay, that's important. Make sure you have that right. Otherwise, you're going to be looping through everything. Um, but we can go ahead and save this. And we'll compile it real quick. Make sure I didn't mess up my paste. It's a little bit longer now, so it takes a little bit longer to compile. So we're done, and we've just saved that to Instructable 1, but I'm going to save as two, so that I can upload it for you guys. Now you can go through, there's all these different zones. So in the next video that we do, We'll show you how all of this works and put it all together. Um, we'll basically concentrate on videoing the LED pins. So keep watching for that one.